Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 166 alongside KJ Nunes, who just defeated George Sotaropoulos and in doing so picked up his first UFC win. It has been a while for you. Yeah. December of 2011, last time you picked up a win, and now you get your first UFC win. How does it feel? Man, it feels awesome, man. All that hard work. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy. Crowd was booing a little bit at first. Yeah. Was that because he wasn't engaging? Was, was that frustrating for you? Well, I tried to cut corners, tried to, you know, get on him. Everyone knows my style, you know, I like to get him there and mix it up, but I tried, I tried to cut corners. He was definitely trying to pull me in to get me for the takedown, you know, so um, it, was, it, was, it was a little tough, you know. How much did the eye poke hurt you? Uh, I, they want me to go uh, to see the medicals. I, I can't, it's not dialing, so it, it was really, really bad, the whole fight. Uh, I just manned up because I heard people booing. I, I don't, you know, to get in there. I should have waited a little bit longer, but it's still a little blurry. It was weird, though, because after he poked you in the eye, it seemed like you, you flicked the switch, and then you really came out the last, like, 30 seconds very aggressive. Why? Uh, you know, I, gotta get, I, I had to mix up a little bit, you know? He was running the whole time. I get furious. Was that frustrating for you? Because this is a very important fight. You were on a three-fight losing streak, and you're like, gosh, I, you know, people talk about you as a great striker, and there's no engagement happening. What's going through your mind when that's happening and you hear the crowd booing? Are, are you starting to get a little antsy? Well, you want to just get in there and mix it up, but, I mean, since I started, the game has changed so much, you know? It's, this is such high stakes, so, you know, he wants to do his game plan. I just had to stick to my game plan, and I'm learning to be a smarter fighter, you know. Mentally going into this fight, what were you thinking? Was this must win for you in your career? Must win. If I would have lost, I would have retired. Really? Yeah, I just, uh, I, I mean, I, it was tough. This is something I can build on. If you can't compete at the top, then why do it? I, I know, you know, I, I've been fine since I've been five. Right. I have, I think, 14 pro boxing. I think 15 or 16 pro kickboxing. I think this might be like, I don't know, 15 or 17. I've got close to like 50 pro fights. And I don't know how many amateur fights, so it's, it's tough. I got the, the new baby. And Congratulations. Thank you. I was telling you, well, man, I, was, I know how it's so tough because I got a job too. First job in like ever. I've been working like, you know, I'm working with the train like 70 something hours a week. So that was tough for me, doing a job full time, uh, helping uh, start a new a company, Town Square. What's the job? What, 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 tell us about this. Online real estate. So I was doing that. And, and training, man, it's tough to do both, man. I was exhausted, and the baby. So well, luckily, uh, my job let me, uh, let me take off for a little bit at Town Square, and uh, I got to concentrate a few, but I definitely can build off this win for the next fight. When you're kind of thinking, if I lose this fight, I'm gonna retire, and then you win, so you're, you have one foot out, and then now you have two feet back in. Mentally, though, like, is that a sign of things to come? Like, are you already thinking about the next step? Well, I'm definitely thinking about the next step, you know, sure. building this company. It's just that, you know, I got a son and a family and, you know, you're, you could be, you know, tonight could have been done. And then, um, you know, if I can't compete at the best, I don't want to, and I can't, if I'm not getting better, then it might be time to hang it up. But this is a great win. I, I love the sport. Don't get it twisted. But, you know, you just have to be able to compete at the top level. So. Is this the kind of win that you needed? Like, were you happy with what you did out there? Did it reassure you that you belong? You can definitely build on that and get better, yes. It's been a while since I've won, so I'm super excited. Especially the guy who was a uh, dangerous threat in the ground. Super dangerous, so I'm excited about this win. Did you feel a little more nervous going into this fight with the new family, the job, the pressure of maybe retirement? Did you feel that? Yeah, definitely. There's always pressure, man. Especially at the, I think uh, what Bert says it best, it's harder to, it's hard to get here. It's harder to stay here. You know, so I'm excited, man. I'm really happy with the win. Well, congratulations. Happy for you. Looking forward to the next one. Thank you, man. Good to see you, brother. Great to see you.